All right, this is Blendon's game. Yes! And you just totally killed our microphone. Sorry, I <laughs> got a little carried away there. Uh, this is an episode about Seuss's birthday and why he, I'm trying not to block your face too much with the, yeah, there we go. Uh, and why he doesn't like his birthday and he doesn't celebrate, doesn't tell anyone about it. Because my dad didn't love me, dude. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the, the dad, uh, uh, during that, Blendon comes back in time, says he wants to challenge the kids to Globnar or whatever it was. Sounds like the love song at the end of Return of the Jedi. Glob, glob, or whatever. Globnar. The, the original glob, Return of the Jedi glob, with the shitty Ewok song. Celebrate the Glob. Glob-nar. <laughs> it's so awful. <laughs> um, Shut up, I love that song. You're just still campaigning glob, glob, for the death of joy. No, no. Um, so, anywho, uh, it he... so awful, you seem to remember pretty well. Oh, I do, and because... An e and in Ewokese. Or is it Endorese? Uh, I don't know. It translates into English later, where they go celebrate the love, because they, ju they just do that. Um, Endorsh. <laughs> yes. So, they... Uh, so, Blenda goes back in time, challenges the kids, because he ruined their lives. Uh, ruined his life. So, they take the little time device to go back in time, and they find out that Seuss, uh, his dad never came to visit him. He hasn't seen him in, like, eight years. He just keeps sending postcards, so he that's gets, why he hates him. And then Dipper day. gets blasted by, Young Robbie! Yeah! <laughs> young Robbie! That's, like, the Maybe one the funny Robbie line. the only appearance, yeah, by Robbie that I've liked so far. <laughs> that right. was brilliant. And one of the funnier things done with the Wendy Dipper romance, it's like, Oh my god! She's like, <laughs> it's just creepy! She's, like, ten years younger than me. Now you know how she feels. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, so they decide they're going to accept Blendon's challenge and have this great big, obviously Tron-inspired fight. Um, and they end up winning. Because it ends in laser tag. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> As all good Tron-style games should. <laughs> and they travel back and have uh, they let Seuss have whatever wish he wants. And he doesn't wish for... Uh, to see his father again because he figured he had his chance. So instead, he wishes for a uh, pizza that <laughs> infinitely never stops. Well, no. First, he wished to get your guys all fixed up because spending birthdays should be spending it with people you care about. And he didn't care about me at all. Plus, I got this infinite pizza. Yeah, the infinite Watch. pizza. <laughs> I was like, best idea ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, uh, definitely a sadder episode, but not like... I don't know. It never feels too forced because, you know, like, this this stuff does happen. I mean, there are just some parents that abandon their kids, you know, and just... And then it has to be them. solved by time travel. That happens all the yeah, time. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Um, I saw Time Cop. I know how it is. <laughs> you know, but I mean, it's like, should obviously be a part of their life, but doesn't, you know, contribute. Um, I wonder if he even, like, sends a check or anything like that. <laughs> Who knows? Hey, he definitely sends the postcards. Um, so, but, uh, but also a lot of really funny lines, a lot of, uh... Uh, good scenes. I like, not only do I like the Tron references, I like that it's both the old Tron and the new Tron, because it, despite, if anyone doesn't like the new Tron, I get it, but it's like the look of the film I, is gorgeous. I love the giant time baby. Mm. And you must complete this game before the time baby drinks this cosmic sand out of this hourglass. Come on, no, come on. It's, it's no, good for you. Come on. No, come on. It's good for it's you. It's good for you. It's good for you. Yes, the fact that it's, <laughs> instead of this very loving parent sound, it's this robotic, come on, it's good for you. <laughs> no, and then, yeah, to have like this adult baby go, no, no, I don't want to. No, it's just these two water. great contradictions going um, against each other. Today's episode was brought to you by the sweater donut, which is awesome. Uh, and the message in there is don't do the time crime if you can't do the time time. <laughs> um, so, a lot we can learn about that. No, but actually there are a few things I was noticing in this episode that are actually kind of fascinating. Uh, well, first of all, there's an ad for the, uh, uh, for Gideon's dad. Uh, some sort they of... They just had a baby sale. Yeah. <laughs> and, but the funny thing is somebody crosses it off, replaces baby with demon, demon, and then writes, RV was here. And I'm trying to think who... Does he sell RVs? With... I don't think so. And then, then maybe he does. But I mean, even if it was, why would I say RV was here? So I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just an RV joke. Maybe that's the thing, like he sells RVs, but... Uh... It's me! <laughs> it's my face. <laughs> it's my face. Um, you see a lot of old, uh, characters not yet, uh, uh, in their own You see the tattoo guy without the head and chin tattoos. He's gained the tattoos. He only has one, I think. Uh, you see the goat <laughs> as a baby, still with the weird eyes. Um, the Sherlock wax statue is actually in the shop, 
when you look there. There's a Moonwalker poster. That's just a funny throwaway gag. But okay, here's the one I found the most fascinating. And I don't know if this was all the episodes or just this one. Everybody had, in this episode at least, everybody has five fingers except for Dipper and Mabel. They have four. Whoa! No, 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 but that's, okay, animation-wise, that's a weird mistake. Whoa! Because it, like, it doesn't necessarily cost more money to draw an extra finger, but it's one of those things where it's like, you stay on sheet, you stay on model, and that's just a really odd thing. I, I don't know if it suddenly happened. It's a conspiracy! It's just a bit, I, I don't know, but now I'm really curious, because there is something about character having six fingers, so you gotta wonder. Um... But yeah, I never noticed that before, and I noticed it in this episode. So now I've got to look at all the episodes. We got a character to see if they somewhere have a... running around with six fingers, and we have Mabel and Dipper having four fingers. Maybe someone stole their five. fingers, their extra four, fingers. Four, five, six. I see a pattern. The next one will be seven. Seven what? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, no. I mean, it's it, it's a good episode. I had a lot a lot of good laughs. It was definitely very uh, uh, you know emotional, but not like. I White still say Mabel animated. just screaming for death is the funniest thing I've seen all week. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of good jokes. I love the way they do this future. Just everything. It, it's very much like how a little kid would want to see the future. It looks like, like those laser tag commercials from the 80s is what it looks like. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. No. I, yeah, you're right. You know. Laser tag. The Let's future go. is now. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, for some reason, I just love everybody standing in line to get their food in the jail. One line is just upside down and like. <laughs> turns and twists and just yeah because it's the future you can do I that. like the title Blendon's game nice little spoof of Ender's game yeah um so yeah I'm trying to think of anything else I mean it, it's nice to you know have an it's episode nice to see Seuss get like that. some character development yeah and it's it, it's very fitting and it, it just seems like something that probably would happen to him because he is just so happy go lucky about everything I like the one size and, fits all shirt joke because so that's just the same shirt he's had for 10 years. Yeah, probably. Well, there's like a million of them, too. That's like the only shirt they sell yeah. there also, so it kind of makes sense. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, disregard my just, joke. But, uh, but no, it's it's also kind of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's also something, something inspired about the fact that he's like, even though he's had this you know sort of sad backstory, he's still very upbeat and very positive and just goes with the flow. And even when he has just, a wish. That's just what Zeus is. Yeah. I, I like the fact he doesn't follow through with the wish. You don't even see the father... Um, so, yeah, no, I, I like all of that. Maybe I this was pretty well done. his father is the author. Maybe his father oh. is RV, and he will give Dipper and Mabel back their fingers. Oh. So, I'm going to watch in the next one and see if they have four fingers, oh. and everyone else has five. Will you shut up? Oh. So, yeah, a anything um. else you got? Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. I just thought it was a really solid episode. I like... The baby. The the, the baby, time baby. Yeah, the time baby is like just my favorite. I, it's just so bizarre and so surreal. I, I'm always fed that guy who does Blendon's voice. He's a returning character on Adventure Time. I mean, he's been something like eight episodes, if not more, of Adventure Time. I'm always amazed I'm not annoyed by his voice. Because it's like, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get sick of this guy so fast. Hey, but, we can mute him, man, if only I knew that earlier. <laughs> but there's something about the inflections and when he does it and how he does it where it's like, it's. Always just unexpected enough to get a laugh out of you the way he says a lot. I, um... Yeah, no, it was a really solid episode. I will say this, so a lot of people have been asking. Let's, let's uh, just settle up here. And a lot of people have been asking, so, um... Yes, we will do the shorts. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Without consulting me, he sort of decided this, but it's like... I also okay. decided we're going to do Over the Garden Wall. Yeah, no, that one I really want to do. I, I don't. I didn't. Con I, didn't I didn't consult him on that either. So I just declared. No, I'm totally down. For I, it. I just declared it on camera, and there's nothing you can do about it. Actually, you could totally edit this out, and you'd never see it. But that's true. I I've never seen the short, so I have no idea if there's like even anything to talk about. To. He's decided not to edit it out because he knows I'm right. Because I'm Mabel, and I'm always right. Right, Dipper. Wait. Anyway, so um, yeah. Yeah. Edit this out. <laughs> <laughs>